Welcome to a brand new section on charts and series types. Up until the last section, we explored the different high charts options, layouts and features. In this section of videos, we will be covering a range of basic chart types, such as chart lines, area charts, column and bar charts, pie charts, and not to forget scatter and bubble charts. This will give you an insight of constructing and customizing basic charts, and hopefully give you the confidence to try out more advanced chart types. For a full selection of charts and advanced chart types, check out the chart demo site at www.highcharts.com forward slash demo. In this first video, we will tackle the line, scatter and bubble charts. A line chart or line graph is a type of chart which displays information as a series of data points that are connected by straight line segments. Line charts are most often used to visualize data that changes over time. For example, in finance, a line chart can be used to connect a series of past prices together with a line. Let's open line-chart.html in our code editor. We've actually looked at this line chart in a previous example, but let's open up line-chart.html and quickly look at a line chart as its structure reflects much of the same structure in other charts. So let's see this as a quick refresher. First, we'll define the type of chart we are setting up. In this case, the chart type is set to line for a line chart. We have code for the title and subtitle here. Next, we have the code that defines the x-axis categories here. Note that all the text labels require quote marks around them. Next, we'll describe the y-axis info. Again, it requires a title. We can set the scale of the y-axis to scale differently. For example, if we type in this code, we've now set the y-axis to have a logarithmic code with a minor tick interval of 0 0.1. Now, let's encode information for the tooltip that appears when we move our mouse over the data point in the series. In this example, we've just set the value suffix. Next, we'll set up the legend info. This info can be how it's laid out, how it's aligned, and so on. Finally, let's enter it, the series data information. We've got two series here, Group 1 and Group 2. If we want to change out line chart to step chart, we could include the line of code for Group 1 series. This aligns the data points to the left of the step, but we can set it to be center or right. Now, let's look at a scatter plot. In a scatter plot, the data is displayed as a collection of points, each having the value of one variable, determining the position on the horizontal axis, and the value of the other variable determining the position on the vertical axis. The first thing we need is to set the chart type to scatter. We'll skip the part of the plot options of the code, as you should be familiar with the early part of the code. I've added the code. Marker enabled true, comma, close curly bracket. This enhances the data point when the mouse hovers over that data point. This is particularly useful if you have hundreds or thousands of data points and you need to isolate a particular data point from the mass of other data points. For the tooltip, I specified the header format and the point format. In the header format, I've set it in a manner that it picks up the series name, which in this case is called GRP1. For the point format, I've linked that part of the tooltip to each point from each data pair. This is shown as point.x and point.y respectively. Bubble charts can be considered a variation of the scatter plot. 
in which the data points are replaced with bubbles. A bubble chart is a type of chart that displays three dimensions of data. Each entity with its triplet v1, v2, v3 of associated data is plotted as a disk that expresses two of the vi values through the disk's xy location and the third through its size. You can see this in the data series section. Unlike the scatter chart data, which comes in pairs, it now comes in triplets. First, we need to include the line of code different to the other charts. Next, let's set the chart type to bubble. I've also set the zoom type to XY. To recap, the zoom type allows you to zoom in on the region of the chart by dragging your mouse over the chart area. The XY setting allows you to zoom in along the XY axis. This is useful in bubble charts as you can zoom in on the bubbles which differ in size. I've come to the end of this video where we went through line, area and scatter charts. In the next video, we're going to cover area and area spline charts.